there has traditionally been kind of an ad fraud, uh, occasionally some remote access malware, occasionally some ransomware. There haven't been a lot of ongoing, very dangerous threats from Mac OS over the years. So much so that a lot of people don't believe that there are viruses, there's malware for Mac. There is absolutely malware for Mac. And that is something that we have seen very strongly in 2024. Not only have we have Atomic Stealer, but we also have uh, a proliferation of lots of other stealers. So Atomic Stealer, Poseidon Stealer, Cthulhu Stealer, uh, a bunch of others where a lot of different adversaries have entered this arena and have decided we know that a lot of Mac OS systems have uh, organization secrets in them. A lot of Mac OS systems are in the enterprise now. We know that engineers and admins are going to be using Mac OS systems. So let's go after those systems, try to find all the passwords, all the keys, all the secrets that we can, and take them home and sell them. Atomic Stealer has jumped into some of our top threats that we've observed. And we really feel that this is because it's kind of this single focal point, this clearinghouse for adversaries to vacuum up all kinds of vital information. And we see them vacuuming up everything from uh, cookies that are set in your web browsers to credentials to any other information that may be lying around that they could potentially leverage. Think access tokens, think deployment capabilities uh, where if you're a software developer you can deploy code to production, and a wide range of other things that really have kind of a secondary benefit. And these stealers are all packaged up very nicely to be quite honest and they make it nice and easy for someone to deploy one stealer, in this case, let's say atomic stealer, and then bring back hundreds, if not thousands of different data points that they can use to their advantage. Better protecting macOS devices really starts with having a good idea of how prevalent macOS is in your environment. And we're no longer in the, the kind of archaic mindset of, oh, Macs are only for a certain use case. We really see Macs becoming very, very prevalent, not just in uh, developers, but we see them used in all different types of teams, whether it be sales, uh, whether it be marketing teams, whether it be developers, we see many organizations out there are almost exclusively, if not entirely Mac OS based. So those groups, those organizations, when they're almost exclusively Mac, they've got a much better idea of what their Mac footprint is. Now, if you're an organization that is still a primarily Windows native environment, you may have a handful of those Macs. Well, the first thing you've got to do is get a handle on where those are, how many of them you have, what they're used for, and then we can start to talk about what the protection mechanisms might be around those. The answer is quite simply to use antivirus controls, use anti-malware controls, use EDR controls where possible. There are a lot of investigators, there are a lot of blue teams that find defending Mac OS systems really difficult. And that's simply because the majority of us have grown up on Windows systems trying to investigate those. Uh, EDR technologies, such as uh, one of the partner sensors we use, a Red Canary, these sensors give you a step up and will help you run down these stealers and help you try to figure out what's going on without having to go through a lot of extra hassle and trying to investigate them. Thank you.